Hi there! Welcome to my channel! Did you wait for this next set of interactive games for your virtual classroom? My bad for keeping you awake, so I'll make it up with you by introducing you to two more games that you can create in your Google Slides. And if you share this video and subscribe to my channel, I'm giving you a copy of the game templates plus one. Yes, a third one that will not be shown in this video tutorial. So let's cut the chase and get started. But before we begin, if you are new in my channel, please click the like and subscribe button below. Also, if you like this video, give us your comments and ideas and share this video to your teacher friends. The first game I will share to you was created by an American architect named Alfred Mosher Butts. He created a game as a variation on an earlier word game he invented called Lexico. The two games had the same set of letter tiles, whose distribution and point values Butts worked out by performing a frequency analysis of letters from various sources, including the New York Times. The new game, which he called Chris Crosswords, added a 15 by 15 game board and the crossword style gameplay. The game has evolved over the years and a number of modifications were made in the box rules. We're not going to go over this modification for I know you cannot wait to see our version of the game and how we can adopt this to our virtual classroom. And so without further ado, our first game for this episode, and since it's not totally the same rule with the actual Scrabble game, we will call it Silent Squabble. The activity begins with the students completing a vocabulary table by filling in the first column with the correct word for each definition or description. You have the option to require the students to complete all words or for them to fill in 10 to 20 words. Once they have completed the table, they can now start filling in the silent squabble board with as many words from their table as they can put. Then, you can have students check each other's work, and that means they have to share the Google Slides to a partner, and have them score each other's work. This is when the basic rule of scoring in Scrabble is followed like special squares only count the first time a letter is played on them, and the pink double word squares double the entire word value, and the red triple word scores triple the entire word value. You may want to Google search basic Scrabble scoring rules if you are not familiar with these rules. Let's go to our next interactive game. Math teachers are very familiar with this. These are called Tarsia. Basically, a Tarsia is simple yet complex jigsaw puzzle that kids have to solve. They do it by having to match up sides of triangles, or in this case, squares, so they correspond with another one. This building of triangles or squares leads them to having to make some kind of shape, like hexagon, a ship, or any random shape you can think of. You can even combine shapes. Sounds confusing? Here, let me show you an example. I created one for biology, particularly for genetics vocabulary words. As you can see on these squares, two sides of words and two have definitions. Obviously, you cannot match words and definitions that are in the same square. The student may start with any word on one square. So let's start with this word, gami, on this square. I will go ahead and look for the definition of this word in one of the other squares. Gotcha! And students may continue working on the other words until they have matched and joined all of the squares. Just one more thing before you use these interactive games in your virtual classroom. Please make sure to provide the needed scaffolding so your students will be comfortable working in an online environment. If it is your first time using Google Slides with your students, teach them some basic skills like an undo button, resizing, moving, rotating, and flipping images, or anything that is required for them to become successful in doing these online activities. Always think of that it is always scary being exposed to a new environment. By providing them the needed encouragement, support, and skills, your students will be more engaging and willing to work with you in doing these interactive games and having fun while learning. Lastly, you may want to make several copies of your interactive games Google Slides if you are teaching multiple classes. That's it for this tutorial. 
have fun in playing these games with your students and don't forget to leave me your comments and like and subscribe to my channel so you're updated of new videos that's it for now 